Hello and welcome to this week's Fuka Road Trip. You join us at the lovely Green Farm Fishing Club near Toaster in Northamptonshire. On the lake behind me, we've got the senior match. The rules are anglers can feed whatever baits they want, but they've got to fish Fuka bait on the hook. And for many of them, that means having their first try with it. So it'll be really interesting to see how they get on. Today is a battle of three methods of using the bait. One angler has chosen to use a liquidized version of Fuka. A second has chosen to band it. And a third is using Fuka straight out the bag. And he's chosen yellow Fuka two in one, as it's the closest to sweet corn that he normally fishes at the venue. Something I've found successful recently is fishing micro pellets, fishery micro pellets or anything on the shelf, but mixing with it, liquidized fuca. So basically what I'm doing, coffee grinder. So as they come out the bag and their natural form, like so, put it in the coffee grinder, grind them up, mix them with your wetted micros, just for purpose so you can see, that's the consistency you end up with. There's some red ones there. Something a little bit different. And when you mix it with your fishery pellets, that's what you get. So as you can see, You've got a big fleck there, it stands out on the bottom. You've got two different colours there. So it's something a little bit different to the norm, but it's also got that lovely Sensape smell, which obviously, as we know, works really well. All I'm doing is fishing on top of that. So we get some of that. And we just fish a few, matching the hatch. So a two in one on the top, as you can see, blends in lovely. And the fish feel confident picking that up. So you've got the best of both worlds. You've got your standard fishery pellet or coarse pellet, which your fish know, they've always been reared on it. And you've got the, the excellent flavor of the Sensate from the Fuca mixed in. So you've got both, you know, you're giving them something they're used to, but you're also giving them something different. And the beauty of this mix by doing it this way is you can't overfeed with that. So yeah, that's, that's what I do. I always keep some, again, it keeps perfectly in a tub, exactly the same as the Fuca does from the bag. And it just gives you a different option. You know, if people, other people, because Fuca is growing as a bait, more people are starting to use it, which means more, more fish are going to see it. If I can give myself a little edge or something a bit different, I'm always looking to do that. Another plus point with this is, if you like pace fishing, you can, the consistency of it, pick a bit out, and you've got an instant paste, and that will stay on the hook as it is like that. It'll just stay straight on the hook. So it's a quicker way straight out the tub if you like to fish your paste, but it breaks down lovely. So if you want to make a paste in between, something between molding a couple of two-in-ones together, or a standard fish paste, fish paste, you know, like a ground bait paste or something like that, you've got the best of both worlds by doing it this way. It breaks down nice and slowly, so you're constantly feeding your peg, you've got something on the hook. I've fished it on a hair uh, on a band today, tried to mould it into a sort of a tube shape and fished it on the band and it's, work, it's worked quite well. So I started pinging in a few pellets, top two plus two, put some of the yellow bait on and, uh, and caught on it. So yeah, I was quite, quite impressed with that and same down the margins. So um, same again, you know, uh, another bait company coming out. Um, like a lot of these things, um, give them a go, see what see what happens. Um, today, definitely been impressed with the uh, bite rate. It's um, it's proved to be well. A couple of weeks ago on here, we had a match um, and corn fished particularly well. And um, I thought I'd try to off, start off with the yellows to see whether the yellow would have the same sort of effect. It certainly had that. So it's certainly doing the same sort of job as what corn would be doing on a day like today. Second place, eighty-seven pound one. Mark Skeggs, what well a Mark! Nice 
I've um, just carried on putting it on the band. I've heard a couple of the guys over there saying it's staying on the hook quite well. So perhaps I've missed out. That's fishing for you. You always want to do it different after the match on the way home. And the 2020 Fuca Green Farm champion, drawing an end peg like usual, is Mick Large with £87.11. Well done, Mick. Yeah, it was a close run thing today, uh, certainly with only eight ounces between first and second and that um, lost a few fish which uh, could have cost me the match but uh, luckily didn't. Um, I've been really pleased with the uh, bait today, the, the Fiducas. I've used the yellows most of the day. Um, I've steered away from pellet in the last uh, few years but um, it started to give me a bit more confidence after today's match to certainly start using it again. Um, and realistically, today's win, just great. After, after a poor performance over the weekend, I think uh, I've really pulled myself back together today and, and hopefully keep it going from now on. Definitely use it again. Um, I think, like I say, it's, it's quite robust. It stays on the hook well. And, that, and uh, it's proved today that uh, not only does it attract smaller fish, it also attracts some of the larger fish as well. Um, and I think that's what's made the difference on today's match. The texture is fantastic. If you do get played by little silver fish, they don't pull it off the hook, so you can carry on fishing. So you're not shipping in and out every five minutes like if you was fishing expander pellets or something like that. If you're getting played by silvers on expanders, sometimes they'll rip the expander off the hook. Not an issue with these. So it does save you a lot of time. Might only be a few seconds here and there, but over the length of a fishing match, that's extra fish in your net, so it makes a big difference, it does. Um, also on the feeder, very confident to use them on the feeder. Um, a method feeder with a neon, I personally use the neons for that. Um, just over a fishery pellet, um, just something like that. A pile of feed pellet, and a neon on the top, stands out like a cherry on the top of a cake. With regards to Fuca bait, massive, massive fan of it. I love the versatility of it. Quite happy to go and fish matches, is what I do mainly, with just Fuca. It doesn't bother me whatsoever, I have that much confidence in the product. I'm not getting paid to say that, I'm saying that off my own back. Next week we're heading north to darkest Yorkshire, so make sure you join us for the next Fuka road trip. <laughs>